Good morning, River of Life Community Fellowship. It is time for our Tuesday edition of Sunday School, where we have a short daily devotion since we can't meet for Sunday School. Now, this week we, we're, we're talking about you know sin and temptation and how to deal with them. And um, I, I want to hit on a, a very important topic today. You know, in, uh, during World War II, there was a pastor in Germany who really who, who died, ended up, who ended up being executed because he stood up to the Nazi regime. regime. His name was Derek Bonhoeffer. And he talked a lot in his sermons and in, in his writings about cheap grace. And that, that is the idea that grace is cheap. That, you know, we just going through life with an understanding, okay, God will forgive me so it doesn't matter what I do. And I, I want to talk about that today, and you know, let's 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 go into scripture. We got, we're going to go to Romans five, starting in verse twenty. Is at the end of Romans five. Here's here's what Paul writes. Now the law came in to increase the trespass, but where sin increased, grace abounded all the more, so that as sin reigned in death, grace also might reign through righteousness, leading to eternal life through Christ Jesus our Lord. So there, there's that idea that you know, okay, so. We have this sin in our lives. The, the law points out the sin in our lives and shows us how we've messed up. And, you know, but then grace, but then there's grace there. And, you know, as the law is there and showing us more and more of how sinful we are, grace is abounding more and more and more. And, you know, so it says sin reigned through death. Great grace might also reign through righteousness. So we have this grace. And, you know, that, that's where people get this idea. Okay, you know, it's, it doesn't matter what I do do because God will forgive me. And Paul hits on that as he starts into chapter 6, verse 6, 1. What shall we say then? Are we, continue, are we to continue in sin so that grace may abound? And that's that idea. You know what? Let's go. Ahead. I can sin because I have grace. And that, that's kind of, that's what this verse is saying. You know, should we just go ahead and say, I can sin because, because there's grace. And this is how Paul responds to it. Verse 2. By no means, how can we who died to sin still live in it? And that, that's like such an important thing for us as we're trying to follow God, that we need to turn away from our sins because when we give our lives to Christ, when we repent of our sins, when we turn from our sins and turn to God, we are saying that that old life is dead. The old life is dead. And we're walking in newness of life. And, but if, if we're continuing to walk in sin, if we're willingly sinning, saying, it's okay, I have grace, we're not walking in a newness of life. We're walking in the death of sin. And you know, as, this, as I talk about this, it pops into my head, you know, zombie movies are very popular these days, and that is what this is. This, like someone who walks in sin while claiming grace is a zombie. They're claiming to have life from God, but they're still walking around in their own death. We can't do that. As followers of God, we can't have death in us. When we give our lives to Christ, we turn away from our sin. We turn away from the death that sin brings, and we turn towards newness of life. And that that. That is an important part. We don't get cheap grace. Grace is expensive. Grace costs Jesus his life. It is a very expensive thing. God died to give us grace. So we, we shouldn't be walking around like zombies, walking around in the death of sin. We should be walking in newness of life. So that's my encouragement to you today is to seek life. If you've been struggling with sin, take it to God. Turn, turn from it. Confess it to him. He will forgive you. His word says it. He will forgive you and cleanse you from that. Get some people around you to help keep you accountable, to uplift you, encourage you. And don't walk in sin anymore. Walk in newness of life. Thanks and God bless.